like I was saying in that last part, a lot of the special characters that we're being shown are actually like the changes to their control scheme so that they don't feel so screwy or difficult to control are definitely welcome. Like Sheila's movesets tightened up, Bentley's movesets tightened up. What was that? You see a Reinhardt? I'm going to Spyro Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. And next thing you know, your whole island will be neat, deep in Rhinox. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a little nothing. What would you do? Because before... Age of nine. Here's the professor. My favorite pupil, welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Yes. Before, he used to handle... Oh, and great, it's just holding a direction and carrying on walking, great. Uh... Hey, he teleported over here real quick. <laughs> He's in the background there. So he can spray. And the right trigger is also fire. This handles a lot better because there wasn't a targeting reticle before and it was like, just use the center of the screen. And it meant that you just took hits all the time and you'd have to stand like this on the guy and be like, because it would just keep missing. Because nothing was very accurate with the pixels. Oh, I'm doing great this time either. Okay. Sometimes it works if you've got the character, you know? Bentley and Sheila can smash them. What do you want me to do now? Sir? Okay, fine. I guess I'm gonna shoot the pinky box. No? Uh. Sir? Missing trigger? Missing trigger? Did I not shoot the sticks? Is that it? Missing trigger. Oh, it can't even hurt me. I was hoping that would trigger something. Okay. I think I'm supposed to talk to him, but he's not talking to me, so we're just gonna, just gonna check I'm not missing anything. Coconuts. But we don't. Ah, <laughs> I had to go behind him to teleport in front of him. Design and personality change. Before he didn't have a personality, now he's just, hey, kids like people who get in your face and just scream the whole time, right? That's that's what they like. And you're like, no, they don't. They really fucking don't. <laughs> I don't. When he used to walk much slower, like this speed, everywhere, and he was very big, he was a lot bigger than he is here, 
and he used to jump real slower than this and the targeting was bad and you had to go into this mode to target properly so you were literally walking slowly like this as they're running at you at the same speed and going because otherwise you couldn't hit shit you can imagine but I didn't find this time so great work on actually improving what was pretty rough originally to be fair what good work all around on that only a few complaints, really. Uh, this being one of them. There we go. After he knew his clipboard, his clipboard is the trigger. We'll go to the right of him. playthrough, or will that be depressing? It's just like, I swear everyone does an Ari's Hall playthrough. <laughs> something. Okay. <laughs> that's real, that's real jank. Goofy walk, but I mean, he's a monkey, so 
Oh, I'll go around. Is that melee? There is not. He only has gum. He knows only the gun. He doesn't even have a double jump. Interesting. I'm gonna die from the next hit, so. I'm <laughs> sorry, I didn't go to the right of him. Uh, I kind of remember this. I think this is a lot of issues too. This is around the point in the game where I kind of remember sort of tapping out. So I just have grenades now, that's, that's what we're doing. everywhere. This is the father enemy. And he's being a pain in the ass. Alrighty. No splash damage. There we go. This is my last grenade. And I threw it on my own feet. That's dumb. Oh. Uh. Oh, you hold. I was like, why is he just lobbing them? How do I stop him lobbing them? original two that you'd have to use all ten bombs before it'd give you another ten, and that being a huge problem because I have one bomb left, you really gonna make you run into the line of fire to shoot one of these three. Sometimes it'd end up like that. Yeah, it's kind of sad that they introduce all of these uh, new characters and they really don't get all that much. So they get like a couple of challenges, maybe one or two levels, but really not even that, some of them. It deleted my bombs. That's so dumb. like to play more as these characters, you know, and like to introduce characters and to really only use them in like several levels of their own and most of them being challenges, kind of ruins it. So you got this, how am I supposed to like... Yeah. Death perception sucks. It is going over. Yeah, that's what I thought. supposed to be using a sniper mode here. He's 
right in the corner. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot in this spot. Oh! Oh, look at this shit! He knew. Was that a bug or was that intentional? Is Tony the dragon? Eighty-five eggs. So we got like three levels to get only five more eggs. You know, so uh, for the next level and then like 15 more from now for the final boss. So it should be doable. Well, that was fun. That was a good, the thing is, yeah, like him, Bentley and that, before they were a, they were just a slog to play as. Now they're fun, but there's still just not many levels for them, and that's kind of sad. Because, you know, I would have always play the shit out of these. Uh, it's nice, it's a change-up. But, like, Sergeant Bird's last level we did was really boring. It was just me shooting witches out of the sky in a small room, you know? It was just... You know, that's the thing, right? It just felt like they were designed mostly for extra challenges. Let's go do a, a real level. Like crystal ions. I do pizza. Should I buy a pizza? Can someone buy me a pizza? I don't want to buy a pizza. I just I just want a pizza. Maybe I have a pizza in the fridge. I'm pretty sure I ate all my pizzas. Just absorb this. Mysterious and magnificent. Literally, they had two accents and they went with it. The voice actor, those hits the voice actor, can you do some accents? And they were like, we ain't gonna do any racist accents. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, what else can you do? I can do this incredibly un insensitive accent for the Italians. And I can also do a very weird French woman accent. Oh, hello. Artillery. Oh man, that just reminded me. Oh yeah, did I ever mention that I used to be, well I still am, pretty big into Pokemon, but like, so, I, I got into the point of like, one of, someone said to me in New Zealand, hey man, what's your favorite type? And I started talking about like a bunch of types and I said, I always like poison, but I never really spent enough time playing with poison Pokemon. And they were just saying poison is a low tier kind of like type. It's got low advantage. It's really easily damaged. It's got loads of enemies that are like just immune to it, you know, kind of thing. And it just, like, you know, it encouraged me, especially when when we were having this conversation, Pokemon X and Y came out. Evil flying Platypus bat. Beaver bat? A great Zamboni. Isn't a Zamboni the thing we used to clean ice rinks? Down there for treasures. Yeah, and this is around the time X and Y came out, and I thought, when will there be a better time to prove that poison can move up the tier list now that Fairy are like 
exist and if there's a new type weakness meta where everyone oh. oh I'm sorry, you just do it for a bit. Oh Yeah I do. Can you just leave them here? I mean Yeah, and I thought, what better time while everyone is fucking around with fairy types and going, oh yeah, fairy's gonna beat all the dragons, I'm one step ahead going, yeah, well, there's my poison team. And I was sitting there and I was looking on Cerebi.net and all of these other ones going, right. There's a way to make poison viable, isn't there? It's gotta be. And I was just sitting there looking for all the poison. Because most poison types are dual types, right? Like, not a lot of them are pure poison. And the ones that are are pretty cool still, and they have a neat moveset and could really be used as tanks or, like, you know, they fit a really great role. Like, Beedrill's poison. It's bug poison. You got, like, Drapion and, a nut and Scum Tank. They're dark poison, so they're immune to Psychic. And now you've got, like... Oh, sorry, I need to see it again. And, like, you know, there's a poison dragon, and there's poison water, and there's, like, poison everything, really. They're, even with the, the more modern games, I say the more modern games. The Alola games. Is it Alola? Yeah, and I was like going through stuff with poison grass that you can use poison fighting, which is like full time super effective by uh, psychic, but has some pretty neat uh, applications otherwise. Yeah, there's some real interesting stuff that you can do with poison types. Uh, very versatile, actually. Uh, yeah, there's that Pokemon in. Uh, a Lola region that can affect steel types with uh, poison. It's got a corrosion special ability, which is pretty neat. And I just sat there and thought, right, Pokemon isn't very hard for an adult. The AI is not very strong, right? It's not very capable. It's just aimed at children, the AI, most of the time. So I'm just going to learn. I'm just going to try and do the gym leader thing and type lock myself later on. Like, through the first run of the game, you really can't do that, because there just straight up aren't enough of one type, except for, like, water and grass or bug. You need to really get around to doing that on normal. Maybe, you know, stuff like fighting and fire and that is and poison. They just, in certain areas, electric. Did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the... Uh... Amazing extended bridge trick. Yeah, I'm we're starting to show you, too. but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. God, you're so slimy. Oh my god. Very good. Ah, let's see. Pocus, pocus, singleties Zen. Make this bridge get long again. Oh, I was really hoping he'd lean over and press a button to just finish the whole thing. Yeah, so the bear that was trying to walk towards us. Uh, yeah, so I just ended up, uh, a lot of my friends still play Pokemon. And they play a more like symbol stereotypical kind of thing where they play a lot of dragons and stuff, and they're just very like, why are you type watching yourself? And I'm like, because you know, it adds an extra creative challenge to it all, and it's quite fun actually. And they're like, oh, I wouldn't ever do that. Maybe if it could just have dragons. It's like, yeah, because you literally only play dragon types anyway. <laughs> like, you know, still stuck in the old days when that was viable. Because in Gen 3, which is what a lot of my friends still play, that is super viable. Battle Steel. 
basically just some of my friends just have like all those people who have a legendaries and super uh, pseudo legendary team where it's like Salamence, Metagross, and then Kyogre <laughs> and like Groudon. No, not Groudon. No one uses Groudon. It's sad. Yeah, so I always had fun with that. And there are some Pokemon that I would call pseudo poisons, but like I'll actually not poison, like uh, Electros, the electric eel Pokemon, which is like electric water but learns a load of like boss ass toxic moves. There are magic worlds here where all of them use magic, and then they're like, we need dragons because magic is dying, but none of these magicians are saying that. And none of the magicians in the other places were saying that either. Which just made me go, wait, what? So is it really just a sorceress's problem? Turtle slaughter. Oh. I'm sliding, I thought I was charging. It's so weird when he's sliding. Am I supposed to be doing something else here, or is this just... I think this is just it, you know? Okay, I'll go with it. Oh, Physics are a bit weird, but it's fine. Ooh. Think of a mini game. No. Okay, here's a slide. <laughs> There's this lock box. Look at Bentley level. Uh, thanks, sign for nearly murdering me. Uh, could do some stuff. Oh, there's the key. Yeah, and after a point, like, I remember reading in one of my books, actually, because back in the day I was a big Pokemon fan when it first came out, Gen 1 came out, and it was big, and in the, all of the books they were like, some trainers want to be the Pokemon master, and they want to be a champion, and they want to be the Elite Four, some people are Pokemon collectors, and they do this, and, you know, trying to expand the world and what pe how it, people interact with Pokemon. And it kind of just made me sit down and I thought, uh-huh, some people like certain types and only raise those types. Some people raise a balanced team and wasn't like saying, oh, you have to do this, you have to play the game a certain way. It was trying to add a creativity element to the game that, you know, honestly in Gen 1 wasn't really there. It was saying Pokemon breeders and it's like you can breed Pokemon in Gen 1 and it's like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I was sat there like, that's neat. That's a neat idea that ended up being, a, you know, involved in the game eventually. Like contests and breeding and all that stuff and like, you know, there's a plane. Let's go do the Bentley thing, I don't want to do the Bentley. 
the amazing Rendini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. I'm glad he knows longer words than I do, because I thought it was like I thought I was clever. <laughs> ben Lee is teaching me words. What's prestidigitation? Yeah, prestidigitation. Oh. I'm dumb. I'll look it up later. I know some guy who watches Rick and Morty or something all right on my thing now. Oh, you don't know what that means? <laughs> I looked it up online and I know what it means. It's like, yeah. I'll look it up online later. Oh, you're so dumb. It's like, oh, okay, sure. That makes you feel big. Oh, he comes straight. He's too big. That's how that works. Okay, clear it out. My compulsive problem is gone. What do you want me to do, sir? You're a gnome? Okay. Yeah, I kind of see it now. Bash the moles, all the ones with party hats. I only have an arbitrary time limit, also. <laughs> I'm doing great. Oh, I killed his friend. I'll just try one more time, because this is a bit of a... The way the camera is working... Can I pull the camera out? I cannot. He's making it, like... He's taking up too much space on the screen. If I can pull the camera back up just a little bit... No. I'm tapping all the usual camera buttons, that's why all of this stuff's coming up on the screen. Oh. They don't give you much time, do they? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this now. Oh no! I don't want to do it again. I'll try one more time, but I, I like this feels very hard. First they go into the star range. Too, they told you how difficult things were. Maybe too many people said that one was actually easy. Ah. No. That's okay, we got the gems. He was just going to give us an egg. You really do need those eggs, brother. <laughs> I'm being lazy on that. Let's go to the other hidden place. There's a hidden place. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't it. That's Bentley's. It's down here. Maybe? There we go. This is also. Oh, this was a slide! I already did this! God damn it! I forgot that one of them was a slide. Just admire Spyro's snicky sliver down this thing. Okay, can I skip? Oh, I can't skip. I thought I could do a jump like Rainbow Road. We've done it already. I'm just killing myself for no reason here. Talking about fighting games. So yeah, other characters I like playing on Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, I was playing a bit of Hit. I really wanted to like Trunks and Piccolo, but then certain characters do a similar function to Hit Piccolo, and 
I, I kind of get them more. Uh, and trunks, the, the moveset's fine, but it's, it just feels like, you know, it's just not as engaging as some of the later, you know, as like characters come in, they've got to be flashier and more interesting than the last ones for you to go, wow, I need to buy this character. And trunks was in the base game. You really need like an updated future trunks. Yeah, it's like, you know, got some more stuff, because his stuff is good, it's just, you know, I've played him now, and it's just like, oh, okay, you know, we desert ruins, oh, I got it.